my name is Leanne at Jimmy Beans Wool, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pom pom with one of these pom pom makers. Uh, these are actually three sizes of pom pom makers, so the middles snap out, so you have your big, your medium, and your easy beansy one. Uh, and then when once you uh, if you decide once you decide what your what size you're making, um, I'm just going to put these back together. Well, maybe not. You'll put them together like this. So for making the big one and you want this groove here to be there so you don't want it to be flush you want it to have that kind of ridge right there can you see that Monica awesome so and we already got one started so you don't have to watch the painful process of winding yarn around this um, and I found that it was really easy it was a lot easier um, to wind your yarn into a ball so you can stuff it through the middle because I started out with just a really long length of yarn and then ended up with a giant tangle so you're basically just going around um, to make a two inch pom-pom and I'm on the bigger pom-pom just so you can see this better um, but if you're gonna use like the the middle middle sized one um, you need about 10 yards of yarn ish is what they recommend and then you just fold it in half so it's doubled so you don't have to wind quite as much and then go like just keep winding it around and I'll like kind of um, keep pushing it to the sides so you get more room in there and then once you get enough and if you want like a really really dense pom-pom like keep going around and you can start like start with 10 yards just because it's easier than having like a giant ball trying to stuff it through that tiny hole um, but you can use different lengths because you're ultimately going to cut it so it doesn't really matter if you're using three pieces of yarn to make a pom-pom so you'll cut this and then this is where having that groove comes in handy because you're going to cut right around here like this. And of course, because I didn't do it a ton, just really get chinks full. So, and when you do do this, I would suggest doing it like on a table and with minimal movement so you don't lose all the pieces. I'm trying to make it easier for Monica to film. So you go like that, and then you'll take a piece of scrap yarn. So I would say like I like I like lots of extra, so you have plenty to work with. So maybe like 10 inches. And Monica's, can you see that? So you're gonna take it right in that groove there, and then you're just going to tie a knot like this. Make sure it stays in the groove, and then you just tie it really, really tight. And you, I usually tie a couple before I take the pom pom maker off, just to make sure that it's nice and tight. So tie it, and if you have a buddy to be your finger and hold that, that's always nice. And you just take it off. And voila, you've got a tiny little pom pom. And then when you've got your ends, you just cut them off. I like to leave the two that I tied it with so that I can tie it on to whatever I'm doing. Um, and then you can kind of see it, it's a little uneven in places. And you can literally just trim it. Or you can leave it, and it can be a scruffy pom pom. So that is how to make a pom pom with a pom pom maker. I'm Leanna at Jimmy Beans Hole. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night